Welcome back, y'all, to Marvelous Mondays. I'm sleepy today. Are you surprised? I'm always sleepy. <laughs> um, so, I'm moving the camera all over the place. So, tonight, I just want to talk about what happened yesterday. So, everyone knows anxiety basically comes in different forms. And I'm going to have to put the animals up because they're already messing me up. Anyways, they're probably still going to mess this up because I don't want to put them up because they want to be all up in my space. But, um, so anxiety comes in many, many forms. And I've touched, I've talked about this, about how, like, sometimes it can just hit you like a tidal wave. Like, you'll be completely fine. And then the next minute, you're not fine. Like, oh, not even close to being fine. And yesterday I woke up and I was like in an okay mood when I woke up and I was like, I need to do laundry. It's Sunday and normally like on the weekends I do laundry and everything was going fine. But then I was just like in a funk, like just like, I don't feel like doing nothing. My attitude's crummy. I'm just ugh. like, I wasn't mean. I was just like, man, you know, and, um, I was like, I have to film because I didn't film Saturday for a subscriber, like stupendous subscriber day. So, but I like, I could not get into it at all. Like I was just bummed. So I took my own advice and decided to take a walk, which is normally what I do so I can like feel grounded and everything. And like, I was still so sad, like, on the walk. Like, I think I was expecting to, like, magically feel better once I felt the wind touch my skin and whatever. But I was listening to the soundtrack of All the Bright Places. And if you have not seen that movie on Netflix, you're missing out. It's so good. The soundtrack is just absolutely stunning. And it just, like, calms me. Um, and it also, like, makes me, like, feel what I'm feeling and kind of get a grip on things. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, you know, like when you're going through something and you're just like, something triggered this, but I like, I don't want to feel it. I don't want to embrace it. Like it'll go away. Like, no, I feel like the music on the soundtrack and it could be because I saw the movie and like, I know what the music, like what scene the music is playing in and it just like gets me all in my feels. I don't know. Either way it works. And I was on my walk and I like started crying because I was just like, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel this way? And I was really trying hard to like think like why I felt that way and like what triggered it and it hit me so fast that like so this was yesterday which was Sunday my birthday is next Sunday so like seven days from yesterday I'll be 28 and six days from today I'll be 28 and I think it all kind of like hit me like yeah I'm sad that I'm like far away from my friends and my family and everything but I think it also hit me as to like what my accomplishments even are you know what I mean like what what do I even have to say for myself like I'm about to be 28 what have I done you know what I'm saying like what if, what am I striving to be like what am I what journey am I on and it just kind of all hit me like so hard like just like bam and I was just instantly sad and you know, I walked back to the house and I told myself like, all right, this is when you need to pull yourself together. Like you can't, you can't be like this all day. And, um, I was going to finish laundry, but Chris knew like I was just not in the right headspace. So he finished it and then I started filming and at first, like I wasn't really feeling it, but then like I just really got in a great mood. And, um, it's just crazy to think about how like, one minute you can be really upset and the next minute you can be happy and like the shift of things and that's really what I want to talk to you guys about today is just like the shift like it's so wild to me like I'll be totally fine in the next minute it's like my whole world is crashing down and but the accomplishment thing like I think because of today's society it kind of makes you like measure your worth by like what you've done in life and I I have uh, to me it just feels like I haven't done enough you know like I'm about to be 28 I'll be 30 in two years which is so weird to say because I still remember high school like it was yesterday 
Um, but I don't know. Like, I feel like there was a lot of things the younger version of myself had high hopes. Like, I wanted to be on Broadway and I wanted to be a Disney Channel star and all these things. I'm not saying, like, oh, I still can't be those things, but it was just, like, up until this point, I'm like, what have I even done? Like, I haven't scratched off anything off the bucket list of, like, 10-year-old Marvelous. Like, yes, on the bucket list was, uh, well, YouTube didn't exist then. But I had, like, my own, like, show. My parents had a camcorder, and they can blackmail me until I hit the grave because there's so many videos of me up there, like, putting on makeup and making music videos and singing and... I had my, it was called The Marvelous Show, and, like, I filmed my mom cooking and all this stuff, you know, like, because I was homeschooled for most of my life, and during that time in my life, I was homeschooled, so, like, I had nothing but time, nothing but time, and I'm just, like, oh, to be that age again, when I'm just so careless, like, whatever, I can do whatever I want, <laughs> and not have to pay bills or anything, I can play with my Barbies all day long, I can do whatever I want, you know? But, um, I don't know, it just, it made me, so back then, what I was saying, I always lose my train of thought, back then, I guess now I would be happy because, like, I finally have a YouTube and I've always talked into a camera, so, like, yeah, but it's crazy because I got accepted into Liberty University, um, for, like, telecommunications because I did telecommunications in high school and there was, like, certain projects I was on that I like would um act in and I loved acting like I wanted to be an actress like so badly too like it was just like in my blood I wanted to be an actress and blah, blah. and now I'm just like uh, I didn't do none of that either like what have I what have I what have I been doing what have I been doing <laughs> And so coming up on 28 has been really difficult because it's just like, oh, I don't know. Like I didn't go to college, which honestly, like I want to do everything. So college would have never worked out anyways, because I like to dabble in everything. So yeah, that I would have just spent a whole bunch of money that I'd probably still be owing. And like for what? So, because, like, for instance, telecommunications, I did that all through high school, got accepted into, actually, it wasn't just Liberty, I got accepted into this college in Georgia, and I turned both of them down, because by the time I was, uh, finished graduating, I didn't, I just didn't want to do telecommunications anymore, like, I didn't want to do journalism of any kind, I thought the news was sad and boring, and to this day, I still think the news is extremely depressing, like, extremely depressing. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, that, that was basically, uh, there's so many things, like, I could have did, like, fresh out of high school that I, like, turned down. And to this day, like, I don't regret it because in that time and in that moment, I, I feel like everything brought me to where I am now. So if I would have done those things, I don't think I'd be in the same, like, position. I wouldn't have the same life, that's for sure. Like, I want to have the same life and, you know, all that stuff. So it, it's, it's, it's a little rough sometimes thinking back to, like, opportunities you had and all this stuff. And again, I don't regret it because I... Journalism is just not not my thing. Like, it's not my thing. I'm bubbly and happy, and I'd rather, like, do something that makes my soul smile instead of, like, oh, this is what I'm doing, and I'm reporting depressing news of who got murdered this week. Like, you know, like, just, mm, no thanks. Not my cup of tea, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to come up here and talk about it because... I know I can't be the only one who is just like, meep, what am I even doing? You know what I'm saying? I mean, doing YouTube and creating definitely makes me so happy, like, that I'm a creator and that is what, stop, dude, oh my gosh, that is what I was born to do, you know what I'm saying? But it, 
it just I feel like certain situations kind of make you remember like oh you had all these other opportunities why didn't you take those and look where you are now and blah 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 and um it just puts me in a funk it just totally puts me in a funk there's no other way to say it there's no nicer way to say it it just literally brings me all the way down because I just I don't know I beat myself up about it you know what I mean like it's I just totally beat myself up about it but I know that this is where I am in life and you know things happen for a reason and but honestly, like, I kind of don't believe that either. Like, I think we make our own decisions and we just have to deal with the consequences. I don't really think everything you do has a lesson or everything you do is like, oh, that was written in the stars. Like, no, I think we have free will. And I think, I think some things are written in the stars. Like, I do believe like some things it's like your destiny and your fate and all of that. But when it comes to like every single thing happening for a reason, I don't believe in that because... I just don't. I feel like we make our own decisions and not everything needs to have a lesson. We're just humans and we do dumb stuff sometimes and then <laughs> things happen that we don't like and it's just like, oh, oh, I'm do that again. Won't catch me doing that. So, yeah. But enough about all that sad stuff. <laughs> Even though that's really the whole point of talking about anxiety is the sad stuff. But I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, maybe once my birthday's over, I'm going to be in a better headspace. <laughs> but I don't know, man. And there's some good things happening. Like there's stuff happening and it's making me excited for the future and everything. But it's still just like, me. this isn't how I planned life to go. But I'm, I'm just dealing with, like, dealing with the fact that this isn't how I planned it. And that's that's fine because life will always throw you a curveball. And I have to be very, like, aware of all of the good that's in my life. And that's why, you know, every single morning at 9 a.m., I write down the three things that I'm grateful for um, and, like, why. Like, I explain why I'm grateful for them. And it just helps me stay grounded and it helps me rem like just to remember to be happy like I think I mentioned this in another video like it just kind of sets the tone for my day and I'm not saying it's a cure-all because like yeah I can be super thankful and grateful about something and then an hour later like everything hits the fan and I'm just like that's not helping me so I'm not saying that at all but it does help a lot but it's not the cure-all and I think that's really all I can say about that like I think anxiety you can have ways like have ways to cope but I don't know if there's ever going to be a point where I'm like oh it's cured I figured it out I'm a genius I don't ever have to deal with anxiety again I don't ever have to be like you know upset again none of that I don't think there really is a cure-all like you can take medication and all of that or whatever you do but I, I still don't think there's going to be like I cure all like I think it's just something if you're a human you have anxiety whether you want to believe it or not I really don't I've never met somebody who didn't have anxiety whether they knew it or not whether they knew it or not <laughs> but tonight I just want to encourage you that you're not alone and it's okay to not be okay so cliche and all of that rhymed I did not do that on purpose but it's okay to just kind of like be blah for a little bit and to like kind of reevaluate your life there's nothing wrong with that just again don't stay there and don't stay sad and remember all the good in your life like I'm alive and healthy people that I went to high school with some of them aren't even alive anymore and that's a huge deal so it's like I have to remember to just stay grounded and remember to be thankful that there's even I'm even seeing today like that's a huge that's a huge relief that I'm still here. I'm still here. And you're still here. And just remember that. You're still here. You're still breathing. Even if you're kicking and screaming every single day, you're still here. And that's all that matters. But all right, y'all. I'm done talking your head off for tonight. Just hope I help somebody out there. And remember to 
Let your light shine bright even when it feels like it's dimming. It will get brighter one day and we will all shine together. All right, see y'all next time. Bye.